if you come to my wardrobe, I just have only three pants and five shirts. So today, last warning. Greetings, my family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth. Welcome, my family, to this special and wonderful episode of my video today. And right in today's video, guys, I'm, I'm here with the man of God by person of esteem, Reverend Tom. You know, I'm still going through, um, you know, the the message where the man of God and Reverend Tom was preaching. A lot was shared. I don't know, for some of you who are listening to me, go and listen to that message. Dwell on it, meditate on it, because it's not something you should miss. Man, I, I've been listening to the message over and over again. I've been so blessed, extremely blessed. That's just how, you know, I am trained. When once I see a message that blesses me, I meditate so much on it. So I, I heard this part, which I'm bringing to you, all right, where he was actually talking about some of the transactions that, you know, some Christians usually have, all right. This will actually inspire you a lot. I mean it to, to, to actually inspire you. And by the time you are done with this video, you stop transacting with sickness. You stop transacting with, um, you know, um, poverty and all the elements of this world. All right, but you live above every aspect of this world, guys. So before we dive into the, into today's video, for those of you coming very newly to my channel, just kindly hit the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel, and if you haven't liked the video, hit the like button, like today's video, guys. Watch this. I will be right back. Watch this. Hallelujah. Associates of the God kind, members of the heavenly pantheon. God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. Do you know the life you now have? You are born of God. And now you have received the Holy Spirit. You become the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are vitalized. That means everything working in you completely perfectly your heart is not meant to fail your kidneys are not meant to fail your lungs are not meant to fail your liver is not meant to fail not meant to fail i'm vitalized huh. this is not just a preaching it's it's like what the prophet was telling you at the beginning when he said, Pastor said, some of those meetings are an interruption. All these things, I, I can say them in my room and I'm enjoying myself. And I'm shouting, I'm enjoying myself. Whoa, glory. I'm joined to the Lord. I'm one spirit. And something is happening in my spirit. And I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When you know these things, you are a victor for life. Listen, this world is made up of victims and victors. Which are you? I refuse to be a victim. I'm a victor for life. Okay, why should you be a victim of circumstances? I'm a victor for life. I cannot be a victim. I refuse to be victimized. Are you hearing me? So if you, if you are born again and you've got the life of God in you, I'm telling you who you are and what you have. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's something here, a powerful verse of scripture. Uh, 1 John chapter 1 and verse 6. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 6. The first epistle of John. Now watch, watch everyone look at this scripture. He says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Look at that scripture again. If we say that we have fellowship with him, but we are walking in darkness, that word substituted for and, I mean, and that and substituted for but, but we are walking in darkness and we are lying. We do not the truth. How can I have, say I have fellowship with him and I'm fellowshipping with sin? How can I say I have fellowship with him? I'm fellowshipping with poverty. How can I say I'm fellowshipping with him? I'm fellowshipping with, 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 with disease, sickness, infirmity, weakness. This is the knowledge that the saints of God need to have. They're running from place to place looking for so-called uh, uh, personal prophets. I'm not, I'm, not talking about, I'm not talking about the prophet of God. That you are. Personal prophets to 
prophesy to them, not prophesy. And then they are telling them, you have a demon, a demon of bad luck. How can a child of God have a demon of bad luck? Ignorance, foolishness. And a Christian, they say, I wish I was just lucky. Oh, huh? You are leaving your zone of rulership and going into slavery when you are looking for luck. There is no such thing as luck. It is either you are blessed or you are cursed. And if you are in Christ, you are blessed. Say amen. And then you hear them, you hear them saying, eh, that prophet told me I have generational curses. What do, mean, what do you mean generational curses? How come they never tell you you have generational blessings? Huh? Listen, if, if it is true that there is a curse in your family because of the evil they did, it's possible. Yes, it's true. Because of, they committed atrocities and they fellowship with devils and the curse came on the family. When it got to you, if this man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. No curses. I have generational blessings. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, down to Jesus. To me, I am the seed of Abraham. So I walk in the blessings of Abraham. I have generational blessings. Not generational curses. Mashata Rabako Sofrediga Mandi. Stop living a lie. He says if we say we have fellowship with him. If I say I have fellowship with him. And I'm subjecting my body to sickness. He said like what Paul said. He said shall I. He said my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I love what Paul said. He said know ye not that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? He said shall I then take this temple of God. And join it to an harlot. Okay, but that's where a lot of people end it. Take this temple of God, join it to sin, join it to sickness, join it to poverty. It's not only halotry. How can I take this temple of God and join it to sickness? I said to our dear sister, I said, you have made your body to become a guinea pig for medical experiment. Today, they are sick. That's they are sick. They are sick. I said, I don't know what kind of house you live in. You are just having fellowship with sickness. So I said to her, I said, let me, let me talk to you. We pray for you today, tomorrow you come back. It's not the prayers are not working. You love sickness. Hmm? She said, no. I said, you do. I said, in, in case you don't know, if you die, your husband will marry another wife. I said that to just her up so that she will face reality. Today you are sneezing. Tomorrow is headache. This one, uh, shortness of breath. I say you are fellowshipping with sickness. Get serious. Maybe it's fellowshipping with sickness. I said I won't pray for you anymore. When you get serious, I will know. So one day she came. She was crying and trembling. She said, I didn't know I was fellowshipping with sickness. That day after you spoke to me, I realized what you were saying. And I said, you devil of darkness, come out of her! Boom, she fell on the ground from that day. You know, though, I mean, before then, she sits near AC, she's sneezing. If fresh air is coming, she is a problem. If there is heat, she wants to throw it. Everything. From that day, she became normal, well. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. Some people lay claim, they lay claim to sickness. The guy is saying, this is my, they claim arthritis. This is their arthritis. Who married you on arthritis? This is your, why do you lay claim? And they can't say this is my, this is my. Then they, they say this is my, they, they, they claim problem. This is their problem. They never say this is my blessing. This is my riches. This is my strength. This is my health. So if we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, say we are lying and we do not the truth. We're not doing the truth. 
how can you be misrepresenting Christ like this? You say, by Christian, you are always in the hospital. Do you know who you are? My money is only one direction, kingdom finances. How can I be, how can I be paying tight and sowing seed and giving offering and I will still be giving doctor money? No way. So today, last warning, stop fellowshipping with sickness. Today, last warning, stop fellowshipping with poverty. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. Sickness is illegal transaction. And Paul said, through the spirit, we mortify the deeds of the flesh. So by the Holy Ghost, we terminate the transactions. Through the Holy Ghost, we terminate the transaction. He says, if we live after the flesh, if we live according to feelings, according to the senses, he said, if you live, if you live according to the senses, you shall die. But if through the Spirit, you mortify, you end, terminate the transactions of the body, you will live. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. It's bye-bye to poverty. Why are you rating yourself? If you, come, if you come to my wardrobe, I just have only three pants and five shirts. I have nothing. I have nothing. Why are you rating yourself with what you can see? Why we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen? For the things which are seen, are subject to change but the things which are not seen are eternal the things which are seen are subject to change that tumor is subject to change that growth is subject to change that fibroid is subject to change that heart condition is subject to change are you hearing me but your health is eternal the life you have of God is eternal. Say amen. Mandora soko pronde giva sotalia. Likro sekro diga baste. Glory hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. We are overcomers. He says in 1 John 5, 4, whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And I showed you from John chapter 1, you are born of God. Whatsoever. Now, I like the word whatsoever. He didn't say whosoever because whatsoever includes whosoever. You see, watch. I am born of God, so I overcome the world. The words of my mouth are born of God. My words overcome. The Lord Jesus said, in the world you will have tribulation. But in me, you shall have peace. Then he said, Cheer up. I have overcome the world. He, he overcame the world for me. Yes, Satan is a defeated foe. He may not accept it, but you have to cramp it down his truth. All right, my family, there you have it with the man of God by person of the highly esteemed I'm Reverend Tom Amekena. You know, I was just imagining how blessed, how blessed those who were physically in the auditorium were, all right? Because me that's just watching over from here, I'm extremely, extremely blessed, all right? And if you're watching me and you know you were in the auditorium and you were live, I would like, I would like you to, you know, just, you know, shout a glory in the comment section because... I believe we are so, 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 so blessed. I believe that we are so blessed. Man, you can imagine those thoughts. You can imagine those thoughts. You can't hear this thing long enough, all right, and still be poor. You can't hear it long enough and still be broke. You can't hear it long enough and still be sick, all right? And I want to thank the man of God, Prophet Uber Angel, for what he's always doing. See, these are the same thoughts that he shares, all right? If you listen to the man of God, Prophet Uber Angel, long enough, all right, you come out of poverty. I mean it. All right. If you listen to him long enough, you know that you are not supposed to be poor. The truth.
all right so um when i listened to this message i was just so blessed i was just so blessed i'm like man this is the life each and every christian is called to live i just i just wish christians can just accept this truth all right you know there are many that think that you know what um this kind of preaching that uh, you know they are just preaching to encourage you but it's not an encouragement it's a life all right it's a life we are supposed to live oh my goodness i i i i don't know how much i can just thank the man of god prophet Hubert angel for you know what what for bringing the man of god reverend tom to us to teach us to share with us um the word of god i i so much love him so much i so much love the man of god prophet Hubert angel and i'll keep thanking him and thanking him and thanking him for the work he's doing it's only god that can reward him for what he's doing see so um i hope you are blessed in today's video and i want to hear from you what aspect of the video were you blessed i know everything blessed you but what aspect blessed you what touched you what did you hear all right what has changed all right since you heard the video what has changed what is it you knew before that you know after listening to this message you said you are not going to do it again or you're not going to say it again one of the things that actually blessed me was was when i'm um, the man of god and uh, reverend tom talk about the fact that you know there are people that always think they are lucky all right they use the word lucky a lot all right i was lucky to have this i was lucky to have that but in the new christian reality we are not lucky each time anybody said to me i you are lucky i always say i am not lucky i refuse to be lucky all right i am blessed right you hear that part is that you are blessed or you are cursed guys i believe you are blessed guys so tell me in the comment section what has blessed you and for those of you coming very newly to my channel um just kindly the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and if you have not liked the video up to this point please hit the like button and like to this video guys and i would really love to see you in my next video bye guys